Hey guys, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Today I'm gonna to do a simple tutorial on bubble lettering. Um, I had drawn a rock with some bubble letters on and I've had, I had quite a few people mention they had no idea how to do that. And so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna show you a fun kind of hack, simple way to do it. Um, a lot of people will outline their letters and then fill them in, but for those who can't visually see how bubble letters are laid out, that can be very difficult to do. So we're just gonna do three simple rocks. I'm just working straight on a white rock. You can do these styles on any base coat that you like. Um, and yes, so we're just gonna break it down for you. So I'm going to do three rocks. I'm gonna do be kind, um, be you and be something else. I don't know what else I was gonna do. I was gonna do one more, but we'll get to that. So the first thing we're gonna do is work on our be kind rock. So choose whatever color uh, you wanna work with, what works with your backdrop. I'm gonna move these other two out of the way for now. Um, and just write with very kind of big lettering your word. Now I'm gonna write B small and then kind is gonna be the big word. So we're just gonna write this on here in the standard stick kind of lettering. And I want them to be fairly close to each other but I do wanna space them to how um, they fit on the rock for me, just like that. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make each one of my um, lines and areas a tube, a nice thick chunky tube. Um, think almost like uh, the long skinny balloons, right? Uh, that like the clowns use to make animals. And we do want all of our pieces to start to nudge up together. So you can use that as you factor in like which way you're gonna make them bigger. So I'll start with the eye because that's a simple shape so you can see what I mean. So we're just gonna make this into kind of a, a bubbly tube letter I. And we're gonna make all of our letters that thick and we want them to run into each other. So see how these two are gonna almost touch completely in the middle. And you kind of lose your letter a little bit in this process, but this is how it works, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do this D. And same thing, if you've got a curve, you just follow the curve around and you will lose the center of your letters, like A's, D's, um, anything where you would have a center that should basically go away. You create the center with your lines when you do outlines. Okay. Now we're gonna let this completely dry before I start going in with my lining. So I'll pan forward to when it's dry. All right, so I'm pretty much dry here, dry enough that I can start with my lining. Okay, so you kind of have to use a little bit of memory to, uh, you know, recognize your shapes, I guess you could say, a little bit. Um, but we're gonna start with the eye, because that's super easy. So just go ahead and outline your letter I like so. We'll keep it simple there at the beginning. Okay, so for like your end shape, just do the outer edge first, and then you're gonna realize where your other lines will go. So we're gonna go down, just to there for now. And so if you think about your end, you go up, down, right? So the down is going to be here. And then you go back up again, right? So we have to go down a little bit here and then back around. See that? All right, and then we'll do our D. And then in here, you're just going to make your indent for your D. So again with the K, kind of the same idea as when you're doing your end. So you've got your line here, and then these come out. So we're going to go up a smidge here and then out to the side down a little here and then up and over just like that 
And there we go. Now I got a little wobbly on my line here and I went over a little bit here, but that's okay, especially when you're using paint pens because I can go in with my blue and kind of touch that up a little bit. The last thing I like to do when I'm doing these style is to give them little highlights. Um, so let me actually fix this blue spot because it's gonna drive me nuts here. I'm just a little bit over here. There we go. Fix that wobble a little. There we go. Now you can just do one little line, a line and a dot, however you think it looks cute. Um, I missed that. So, hold on. So I missed that. I just took just a very lightly damp Q-tip there just to pull up the paint so I didn't have to wait for it to dry. Mistakes happen. Sometimes you miss, okay? <laughs> very simple fix. I'll try that again. Might have had one too many glasses of coffee this morning for these little lines. Okay, so we're gonna go here on our D. and add that there, there we go. So I'm gonna avoid that spot on the end right now and my eye has a drying spot. Just like that on the K. We'll let these other two dry where we add B on our rock. Now for the B on the rock, I'm going to just do kind of a cursive style um, B for the B kind. So kind of loop up, down, back around like that. Now I've written that a few times in the past, then we can come in here and thicken up a little bit of the lines. Um, the downward strokes are where the line would be a little thicker. Um, I do have practice sheets that um, I had gotten a while ago. Um, I'll leave links to those below for, for this part if you, anybody's interested in that. But all right, so I'm gonna write that on here. If you're really worried about this, you can actually come in. Here, I'll even do it today with a pencil and lightly sketch it on your rock first. Now, my pencil's not very sharp, but if, if you're worried about placement or that you're just not that comfortable, it's okay to grab a pencil. Black will go over this just fine. So if you want to Make sure you've got placement well on your rock, okay? And then you can just go right over the top. So be kind, okay? And then you can add those down strokes where it's a little thicker. And if you do have a smidge of pencil there once it's dry you can take a white eraser to your rock i like to use the white erasers best just because they tend to not leave smudges on your rock i can't find mine at this exact moment to show you oh here it is one of these kind of white erasers all right so the rest of our letters look dry here hmm. Maybe one up here too. Just like that. Fun, simple bubble letters. Anybody can do them. That wobbly N is still bothering me, you guys. So just so you know, if you make mistakes, there we go. That makes it much better. You can go in and fix them. I'm going to do uh, I think a BU rock and a U matter rock the same way. Um, but I'm gonna speed that portion up. So you can watch me build the bubble letter portion of it, just in case you need a couple more examples. Um, and then I'll show all three of them finished at the end, but I'll speed it up so it won't be very long for you to watch.
So I was fixing my M and my A, so I was waiting for that paint to dry before I re-outline, and I thought, you know what? I wanted to add a little bit more pops of color onto these stones, so all I'm doing is adding some polka dots um, that match the lettering, obviously, on each rock. I'm just gonna outline these circles each like so, and then add just the tiniest highlight in these as well. Um, the center that is still a little wet, so I'll wait until it's completely dry before I go in with my white. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that's the process of what I'm doing. Let's get that dry so you can see one in real time. And then we'll be finishing these up here real quick. Now, when you're doing a highlight on something that small, it might be kind of hard to get that very light um, spot. So go ahead and put it in there just like that. Once that white is dry, you can come back in with your original color and create that nice um, curved line to it really easily um, once the white's dry. Hold on. speed up that process a little bit here so you can see one of them live and then we're just going to come right back in I don't know if I can hold this up while I'm doing it we're going to come right back in I hope it wasn't completely dry and we can nudge it back to the corner just like that all right I'm going to complete the rest of these finish this outline Let's finish this outline first. You don't need to see me outline and highlight a bunch of dots, but then we'll show you all of them finished here in just a moment. So after getting frustrated a few times with highlights on these, I remembered I had bought myself some of these white they're gel pens, they're Uniball brand. Um, so I'll make sure to link to these as well. It's a little less wet, so I'm not spilling over as much um, when doing my highlights. Uh, the thing with these, you gotta make sure that they're, they're rolling. So constantly doodling on the side of my paper here. But they go on really nice and smooth. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thank you to everybody who is subscribed. And if you haven't, make sure to take care of that now. I will leave links to some more fun tutorials right as soon as this one's over. Bye-bye.